Hello there, once again, it's Anton from Anton and Bay. Today, I got another discount uh, Fortnite figure from Ross. This guy sent me back $10.99. Highly recommend Ross if you are looking for Fortnite figures. They have some hell of a deals going on. They've also got some really cheap Transformers, which I have coming up in a later video. Um, this is Red Strike uh, skin from Fortnite. He's not a Battle Pass skin, he's not a bot skin. He's like one of those bonus pack skins, so it was kind of weird that they made him because he's kind of an odd character choice. But here's a list of the figures that have already come out by now. There's actually a ton more than that. I've got a bunch of them because I do like what Todd McFortnite has been doing with these McFarland figures. And every time we open these, we have to pop one of these out. This is the stand that it comes from. And we have to say a little prayer for, for Todd McFarlane and say thank you, Todd, for, for giving us action figure stands. Every time. We've got to gotta acknowledge that. A lot of times on his new DC stuff, whoa, he gives you not only a stand, he gives you a, a card with it, a collector card. How great is that? That's like almost like a real toy. That's like back in the 90s good. Alrighty. He is a he is tall. He is taller than a lot of these. I am I don't know why he just seems so tall. Anyway, so this is him. This is Red Strike. I am kind of digging that helmet a lot more than I thought. And he looks kind of doinky in the game, and I never even bought this skin, but um, I'm kind of digging this figure more than I thought I would. He's stiff, I'll give him that. But he has a ball joint at the shoulder. Doesn't feel like we get a, sometimes with these, uh, with these Fortnite McFarlands, we get like a butterfly joint. I don't feel one in there. But I do feel like this rubber jacket is soft all over and you can squish it and feel like the base figure inside. That's pretty cool because it tells me that like, I can get, oh geez, I can get some killer flexibility for him having like a rubber jacket over top of this. That's pretty cool. Um, upper bicep rotation, double jointed elbow, ball joint at the wrist, which can be manipulated into any direction. It's a little difficult sometimes because it's kind of a weird joint. So like sometimes you can't just flat out turn it, you have to like rotate it and then turn it. But he's got a long ass neck on this thing, which is a ball joint or a dumbbell joint because you got a ball joint at here and a ball joint at the top. So you're gonna get quite a bit of range from that. Looks like he's only got one eye, so uh, watch the blind side. Uh, waist rotation. He's got your typical Todd McFarlane um, suitcase hips that kind of have a rotation at the top and the hip, but it can't really work because the pants come down and it's kind of bulky and blocky. It's not the best hip setup, but it's what he's come up with. It's extremely similar in design to um, Play Arts Kai. If you ever played with like some of those 70, $80 Play Arts Kai figures, their hips are set up just like this. So I don't know why, I mean, I don't, it's not bad, but I can see why he went with it. Much, much pricier figures were using it. Double jointed knee, ball joint at the ankle, which is just like the wrist. It will do anything, but you kind of got to manipulate it into the place that you want it to get it to do that. His back bling is really nice. A lot of them have like kind of lame back bling. I'm kind of really digging this back bling. Pop that in there. That looks good. He comes with the silent scar, which is one of my all-time favorite weapons. I love it better than a regular scar. I feel like it's it's uh its bloom is a little bit tighter. So I I just I find it slightly more accurate. I enjoy it very much. And then he comes with his harvester, which is ugly. Can't remember the name of his harvester. All this stuff has like names, and sometimes I can remember it, and sometimes there's just a damn many I can't begin to remember it all that is never gonna go in that hand so I'm not even gonna try I'm gonna put him on his stand 
I can find the holes in the feet. We'll settle for one hole. It looks pretty good. Here's this harvester right there. There's the figure. If you want him for 10 bucks, I'd go to Ross and get one because he's pretty damn cool. I don't think I'm into this guy for 20 to 25 like I've seen him for, but at uh, 12, $11, Ross, hell yeah, I'll take it. Anyway, that's my story. Catch you guys later.